defense contracts worth more than £2 billion have been awarded to Bay Systems and Rolls-Royce to begin the third major phase of the future submarine nuclear deterrent program, Dreadnought. With the overall program supporting around 30,000 jobs across the UK, from design through to build, Delivery Phase 3, DP3, represents the most significant stage of the Dreadnought program so far. Citing from Royal Navy website, in 2021 alone, it supported around 13,500 jobs in the northwest of England and a further 16,300 over the rest of the UK, making a significant contribution to the government's leveling up agenda. The investment is the latest financial commitment between the Ministry of Defence, Bay Systems and Rolls-Royce, and is the initial investment within a planned overall total of nearly £10 billion for the whole delivery phase. DP-3 will see the first of four submarines, HMS Dreadnought, exit the Barrow in Furness shipyard to begin sea trials, laying the foundation to sustain the continuous at sea deterrence, CASD, for as long as the international security situation makes it necessary. Defense Procurement Minister, Jeremy Quinn, said, The Dreadnought class will be crucial to maintaining and safeguarding our national security, with the nuclear deterrent protecting every UK citizen from the most extreme threats, every minute of every day. Designed in the UK, built in the UK and supporting tens of thousands of jobs in the UK, the Dreadnought program is a leading example of our commitment to defence manufacturing and will continue to boost British industry for decades to come. As the largest class of submarine ever built for the Royal Navy, each will boast 26.4 miles of pipework and more than 20,000 cables stretching 215 miles, further than travelling between London and Leeds. 